So in this video, I wanted to show a little bit of results that you can get with Hugo Culture Beds. And uh, this one is probably about four years old. I think I turned it into a Hugo Culture maybe two years ago. And it's been uh, been a huge help. I just started it with, uh, it's kind of my first gardening uh, bed at home, really. And it was just I just added you know soil from the uh, and compost from the store and didn't really do anything and mainly it wasn't though it wasn't holding water and it wasn't growing the life that's needed to hold the water so I learned about hugel culture uh, I don't know maybe five six years ago and had done it for a couple other people and they saw good results so I pretty much transferred these beds uh, where I'm staying into them and it's been pretty good I kind of mix it with some no dig afterwards but these are the kind of results that you know I can pretty much plant anything I want in here as long as the sun's as long as I kind of plan for the sun and you know stuff stuff grows great um uh, so yeah, let's see, leave a comment about what your favorite part of a hugel culture is. Is it because it holds water? Is it because it breaks down nutrients over time? Is it because it upcycles all the green waste? So let me know. I'd, lo I'd love to hear everybody's opinion on that and just get more information about, about why you, why people are enjoying this. Um, let's see. So, I also do this kind of no-dig thing and leave the, uh, once I get my hugel culture dug and built, then from then on I'm pretty much leaving the weeds in place. And I'm, I've been mulching. I found a new, another guy who does a market garden with just cutting grass and mulching with his grass everywhere. And he almost uses zero water with it which was pretty amazing but um so yeah i'm taking all the everything that i mow i'm pretty much raking up and just kind of mulching it in place and it's been working really well on top of this and then when i want to when i want to plant something i'll just simply kind of dig this out and uh, you can see that the you know the soil's staying pretty damp in there and I only maybe water this, uh, I don't know, maybe very lightly, twice a week, very lightly. But all the weeds that put down all these roots, um, all of the beneficial life is growing around the roots and is being, uh, it's a whole ecosystem that, uh, that just, uh, you know, it works together, grows more life in there, the life holds the water. And so that's kind of why I'm leaving the, the weeds in place. And if I do uh, weed or if I need some sunlight to something, say, I'm just going to, I'm usually leaving the, uh, leaving the roots in place. And then I'm pretty much just mulching all this in place. And, uh, you know, keeps it down. And that's pretty much what I do for weeding. Just makes everything... A lot less work and it's more effective at the same time so that's really what this channel and what my gardening method is all about is doing things simply doing things efficiently smartly um, you don't need to waste time you don't need to buy a lot of fancy fertilizer or any of that and so yeah so yeah one of the downsides of hugel cultures is that you got to you know, starting, starting them can take a lot of work. It can take a lot of, uh, um, you know, you got to get the material all together. But um, once you do it, I th it's it's really worth it. Especially if you have uh, raised beds that are not producing well, they're not being abundant. If you're having to water them all the time, then um, yeah, use the tips in this video and uh, just increase the diversity of life um, and you know you can always uh, you know just just do the simple stuff and 
let this become an environment that's helping, you know, all the plants are helping each other, all the roots are helping each other, and it's, it's just super easy, super effective, and uh, yeah, it's kind of how I'm, I'm doing everything now, is that uh, pretty much any garden I make now is basically this hugel culture on the bottom, and then as the base, as the foundation of it, and then on top of that, it's pretty much just, uh, yeah, allowing all the different plants to, and the root systems to grow the soil, to grow the microbes and the fungi in the system. And uh, it's, it's working really well. And like I said, less work and uh, good food, tasty. Um, you know, I just keep, I just keep pulling a little bit at a time and it keeps regrowing. So, especially here in the drought, it's just been horrible drought for like 10 years. Um, we got some good rain the past couple months, but I think that's over pretty much here in, on the central coast of California. And then uh, I'm also protecting against, uh, against uh, it's going to get to 100 degrees, you know, probably in a month or so. It'll probably get up into the hundreds. And we get 100 degree weather for like, I don't know, two months it seems on end now. <laughs> so I'm kind of protecting against that. You can see some more of the mulching uh, just from, yeah, just from mowing. Just I just rake it up and then I've been putting it, putting it down and it acts as a weed barrier and it breaks down and becomes, uh, and it becomes, uh, you know, it composts kind of in place. And it looks pretty good. I mean, this is just, you know, we have really terrible clay here. But this has only been, I've been mulching like this for maybe, I don't know, only a, a month or so. But it's looking a lot better already. And, yeah. Alright, I think that's about all I wanted to show today. Kind of an overview of uh, my home garden. Pretty simple. Um, I do, I like to do a lot of stuff with, uh, community gardens. I've got two of those plots that I revamped that I'm having a lot of fun with. And, um, I've seen some, during the quarantine, I've seen a few places around town that are doing, like, uh, you know, they have, like, the, you've seen the little free libraries, probably. But now they're, people are putting out plants for exchange and uh, for free so that's pretty cool so that's what I'm doing is I'm you know I'm you know getting some oregano that's what these guys are gonna go for going to the free um, the free plant library or whatever it is plant exchange so that's where these are going today just to contribute to uh, propagating plants and propagating food I think that's uh, vitally important these days so I encourage you all just to propagate grow, uh, you know, start with a small uh, box. I mean, this one I built from scrap wood. Uh, this one I got from a buddy. Uh, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, just free planters. Uh, yeah, just make sure, uh, you know, there's not like paint or it's like treated with anything crazy so it doesn't seep into your soil. And keep learning, learn a bit and take some action, grow a bit. And if you got anything out of this, uh, subscribe, like the video, share it on social media, different platforms, and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, have a good one.